Welcome to Salvation Army Today. This week we feature news from the Olympic Games, but first, a story from the United States. With school just around the corner, the Salvation Army and Target recently treated 12,000 children to a shopping spree. Eight dollar Target card so they can get back to school stuff. I got book bags, shorts, uh, shirts, undershirts, tank tops. I got a book bag, a book bag, a lunch box, a T-shirt, some uniforms, and some pencils. And some pencils. <laughs> <laughs> and did you get something for school? Yep. What did you get for school? I get a, I got my book bag, which is a messenger bag, and I got my uniforms and things that might help me through the year. And I think we pretty much got something of everything, right? She got what she wanted. I did. She got what she wanted, and I'm just happy to shop. I had I, I had a lot of fun. Thank you Target and our many volunteers for making this event possible. The Salvation Army played an important role in the 30th Olympic Games in London. Mission teams from around the world, including Salvation Brass, shared the gospel while the Army hosted the mountain biking competition at its Hadley Farm. The Olympics is such a fabulous event, over 200 countries involved. Salvation Army is involved in 124 countries at this moment and therefore it's just uh, absolutely ideal that people around the world will see the Salvation Army being involved with the Olympics. Some time back Essex County Council came to us and they said to us uh, we would like to suggest to LOCOG that the mountain biking is at Hadley Farm. We said great let's sit down and chat and really that's how we actually got involved in having this fabulous event at the Salvage Islamist Farm in Hadley. Well this is the first time that any Christian denomination has ever had an Olympic event on their land. So for us, the Salvation Army, to have the mountain banking on our farm is tremendous. A um, hundred years after William Booth's death and after his Alphite speech, it's really great that this farm that he purchased in 1890 is now showing the mountain biking event to the world and is therefore showcasing the Salvation Army to the world. Uh, we're absolutely delighted. When not hosting special events, the farm serves as a centre for spiritual and professional development. The Army also offered support to the marathon, which took place just outside of our international headquarters. Hi, uh, yeah, my name's Gareth, I'm from a church in York. Uh, me and a few guys from the, from the church have been down here for all week helping out with More Than Gold. Uh, we've been out around Euston Station giving out bottles of water. It's been really cool, it's been really great to meet people, to chat to them, just to explain why we've been doing something so crazy as giving out free bottles. And uh, it's been great here today giving out cups of water to uh, thirsty marathon viewers. So yeah, it's been a really good opportunity to just uh, bless the city in a really simple, non-threatening way I guess and yeah people seem to have responded really well and uh, yeah, I just pray that, uh, that this leaves some kind of lasting impression on amazing being out here on the, on the streets today amongst the people and having the opportunity to serve and uh, just to get the response from the people and even some people um, coming and, and wanting to talk and, and that's what it's about, availability and, um, and serving and uh, we feel that we are achieving that today and we're, we're grateful for, for the opportunity. <laughs> Good 
In closing, we turn to Isaiah. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Be sure to tune in next week for Salvation Army news from around the world. For Salvation Army Today, I'm Chris Priest. Good day and may God bless you.